Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and another question that I get regularly is about that famous digital noise reduction. We talk about the digital noise reduction that is available on the uh, Malahate receivers uh, that is uh, that is quite good at removing noise around the signal. And of course one of the things that I get as a question is this noise reduction on the Yesu as good as you would have on a um, you know on such a device and honestly it is and it works very well as long as you choose correctly the level of your uh, digital noise reduction depending on what you're listening to and also depending on the level of the signal you need to make sure that the first step that you would do is to attenuate as much the noise around it. So that means that instead of running it with, like, for example, all the amplifiers on, uh, you might want to just make sure that you use with minimal amplification and have the minimal or least amount of noise around the signal you're listening to. Choose the proper AGC also. AGC is fast, mid, and slow. Uh, choose a proper AGC for the signal you're listening to. That also will help tremendously. But uh, yes, when you tweak the radio correctly, when you start really using it in a proper way, the digital noise reduction is actually really good. One of the questions also was that um, somebody was saying, well, is it normal that there's some kind of echo or feedback that sounds on certain signals with the digital noise reduction it is to totally normal because if you remove the noise floor the only thing the digital digital noise reduction has left that it can actually check out is in the signal itself so depending on how far you went if you go too far there might be too much echoey back so you got to choose it you got to choose it correctly you got to choose the correct level depending on what you're going to listen to and i would say that for most of the listening you'll ever do sideband whatever signals you're trying to listen to uh the digital noise reduction rarely needs to be above four or five six uh, it already is a good good threshold except for one thing you might have seen that this radio can actually decode for example digital modes or morse code what is happening in morse code is that sometimes the noise is a big problem in trying to decode your signals then what could be useful is to push the digital noise reduction higher notice how it keeps the tone for the Morse and really removes most of what is the background noise so if you for example go to CW Digital noise reduction is pushed to a high level. Pretty much here only Morse. In Morse code, I keep the AGC at slow. And if we uh, try to decode, here we go. We just need to put the proper speed for Morse code. CW so speed here. Make sure that we choose the correct so that could be very useful to put the DNR the digital noise reduction at a higher level and to just keep it like this where it's noisier and the decode might be a little more, um, you know, it might be full of 
characters that shouldn't be there. So that's another use for the digital noise reduction for Morse code could be very nice. But you push it higher for that rather than uh, for five or six for the audio of a voice, for example. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.